What even is Ooblets? For a whole lot more videos like this one, check out our channel, give us a like, and subscribe. Well, I took an early look at a game in game preview on the Xbox. This one's called Ooblets, and what is that? That's a strange question to answer. It's a combination of a couple different genres and some really standout games that we're kind of more familiar with. Let me preface this by saying I haven't played a lot of Animal Crossing. Uh, just a little bit of the new one just to kind of take a peek at it, but I'm not really familiar with what the normal staples of that series are. So understand that when I'm talking about this game. This game has a huge influence of that, and I want to say a Harvest Moon kind of objective to the overall game, but stitched in with that is a kind of Pokemon-esque dance off with these creatures that you're growing. It's super strange, and the whole game definitely plays towards that cutesy, strange, really weird angle. This one is kind of looks in the style of like a Katamari game. It has a lot of cell shading to it, and it really stands out to the eye. It has a lot of pastel colors, and it makes a really bright, vibrant, nice looking, almost Nintendo-esque world, if that makes sense. It's similar a lot of ways to Animal Crossing in that you walk through a village and you talk to a lot of different people in the town. You can have the opportunity to join several different clubs based on your kind of personality, and uh, that determines what your starter oob is, the Pokemon type creature in this world. Now the Pokemon vibe is definitely strong running through this entire game. You enter these dance off and that's kind of where the battle system differs, but it's your oob versus an oob, usually a wild one or perhaps somebody else's, but you get into these kind of turn after turn battles where I have the opportunity to respond to what you're doing with a series of cards. These cards are drawn at random at the beginning of every turn, so there's no value in holding onto the cards. You want to kind of maybe burn them as fast as possible in these beats that happen per turn. Now, the beats are somewhat maybe determined on the level of the oobs or determined on the amount of oobs because you can have up to three, I believe, in a battle at one time. That's at least where I'm at, where I'm collecting a lot of these things and they're following me around in a team just like Pokemon. But in this dance-off style thing, everybody just kind of comes up and you have a lot of generic cards, but each of these oobs brings a specific card to the combat. It's a really interesting, unique combat system that kind of has its own fun with uh, the height elements to it and its own kind of workings going off. It's a unique breath of a kind of fighter game where it's not like Pokemon where you know you're kind of worried about different moves going off in whatever order. This one's a lot more simpler and a lot toned down. I think the idea here is to more so grow your archive of these oobs and you do that by growing them in your own garden. That's where the Harvest Moon aspect takes in. It's kind of this blend of, I'll go train up these oobs, just like Pokemon, I'll fight a couple, they drop a seed of their type when they are defeated, and then you can take that seed, plant it in your garden, and so on and so forth. You get several of these seeds together, and that might unlock the ability to fight a different type of oob that you're finding kind of wandering through town. These oobs are not really hostile. They're all really friendly and it's a nice dance battle beat to a world that's really charming. And the soundtrack accompanies that pretty nicely. It's these nice tunes of very Animal Crossing type Harvest Moon, you know, relaxing stuff that's going on. And they generally match the day and night cycle of what's happening. You have so much energy just like Harvest Moon where you can only do so many actions throughout the day and you have to eat to restore your energy and continue on going or have a nap and eventually just sleep overnight where it does this really interesting recap thing where it brings up a bunch of the information of what you did in that day and it kind of rewards you in letting you see the kind of gradual progress happening to your characters. 
This game is only in game preview, but that's such a surprise because there's a lot of aspects to this that I haven't even really touched on. There's decorating your house, um, there's interacting with all these people and fixing stuff up in town. Uh, it seems to be a lot of the long-term things that you can do to keep this game going and freshen it. Uh, there's upgrades early on that introduce new kinds of oobs to town. There's a balloon that eventually you fix and are able to leave town and go to other places. This game really seems like it's just the tip of the iceberg here and this could be a really good hit. I enjoyed this blend of games and I'm absolutely going to recommend that you check this one out, Ooblets on the Xbox.